I'm Second Lieutenant Andrew Lee, and I'm the tank commander. Uh, I will explain the world-class tank K2 Black Panther. Uh, we have the, the IFF system and auto loading system and active protection system. It has been developed in 2003 and the first K2 were deployed on the Army process in 2014. Our main armament is the 112mm smooth bore. The, the barrel is 6.6 meter. Uh, our maximum fire range is the effective range is three kilometer. We have the auto loading system, so it has only three crews: tank commander, gunner, and driver. Just three. Left side is the commander's seat, and the right side is the gunner's seat. Total is the 40 ammo in the tank, and auto loading system is 16. We have the active protection system. It is consists of the laser warning system and missile warning system. And we have the explosive leak armor. It consists of 230 pieces and total weight is 1.6 tons. We have also have the explosive leak armor on the top of the hatch. We have the IFF system. It is identification friend of uh, the mass sensing distance is 5,000 meter and discrimination accuracy is 90-90%. So it is make it easy to identify in the battlefield friend or foe. We have complex ground navigation system. It consists of the INS and GPS. So it is made too easy to find our position. The max speed of the tank is the 7 km per hour on the flat load and the 50 km per hour on the cross country. And the cruising, the cruising range is 450 km. Look at that turret. That is the missile warning system smoke launcher. Missile warning system and the smoke turret launcher is the linking and if detect the missile, it will be smoke automatically. Last uh, summer uh, in July, we have uh, completed a uh, uh, trial test and uh, commissioning in Middle East, uh, mainly for the uh, environment in Middle East uh, to overcome that uh, we have done the, uh, some modifications uh, like uh, some additional uh, air conditioner and uh, we have the parasol put like that. Uh, the name of this tank is the K1A1 tank. The K1A1 tank um, uses a 122 millimeter smoothbore, but the K2 tank has computers and cameras installed inside the tank, which allows for recording and also um, precise, a more precise firing. The K1A1 tank has four crew members, the captain, the gunner, the driver, and the ammunition supply um, person. Um, the K2 automatically replenishes its ammunition for firing, while the K1 does not have that kind of system, and that is the difference. The maximum firing range for the K1A1 is four kilometers, but its effective range is 2.5 kilometers. The second armament uses machine guns, specifically the K6, which uses 12.7 millimeters ammo, and the M60, which uses 7.62 millimeters. There's a slight difference in the K1A1 and the K2 tank, the K2 tank has reactive armor, which allows to offset um, damage from the enemy tank, while the K1A1 tank does not have reactive armor. I am from Salty Engineering uh, Gigia Bobyong Sadan and Sodejang Chungi Isok. This is the AVLB tank, or uh, AVLB is flame is armored. Baker launched bridge. The AVLB is based on K1A1 tank with on the bridge. AVLB is produced for uh, providing capability of uh, crossing a river. This field year is 1996 and have three crews. Maximum speed is 70 km per hour on flat land and 50 km per hour on cross country. It can obstacle overcome is 0, 0 0.8 
height and 2.66 weight. This bridge have available length is 20.5 meter. Bridging working time is 5 minutes and collecting time is 10 minutes. It has two features. First, ability of retrieving the beginning and ending site of bridge. And second, ability of passing through the bridge is 60 ton. The location of the driver is on here, this end, and the two crews, two crews is on then that there. Uh, this machine gun is M60D uh, 7.62. The length of bridge is 22 meter.